Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to the Settlers Rise of an Empire. And now that we've done three missions in... Uh, uh, Westerlin, I believe. It's time to go to Narland, a completely different part of the world. In Narfang. Your Majesty, I bring you news from the north. The Narlindir Vikings are abroad again, operating out of bases along the Narthang fjords. I know the region. One of the Viking raiders' bases lies to the west, across the river. It is well protected, but most of the Vikings will be on a raid at the time we arrive there. We should make a landfall at the Ingvar coast, south of the main fjords, to establish our own base. Once we establish our own base, we should be able to deal with the Vikings on an equal footing and find a way to stop their raids. A local village named Breck lies somewhere here to the north. It is inhabited by a tribe of Vikings who may prove a worthwhile contact. It is a simple matter of driving off these northerners and adding this land to your burgeoning estates. Send me as your agent, my liege. Burgeoning is a good, good word. Anyway, we're going to send Kestrel. Kestrel? Kest Kestrel? I don't know. Who is a bit of an interesting character to use. Let's follow the trail to this village called Breck. Perhaps we can find a friendly contact there. Well, hang on. I have other things in mind when I start a level, so I'm gonna do those instead. And set up some wood cutters. There's quite a few trees on the edges of the area. We also cannot, can't uh, build in an area that's not ours, which is why this is saying not discovered yet on the screen. When I try to put stuff over there, even though I'm not actually trying to put stuff over there and it's just me hovering over the world, trying to move around. Uh, but anyway, we've also got three fishing spots down here that we need to take advantage of. While it's still... Uh, not winter, basically. So let me do something about that if I can, although this area here is unbalanced for some reason. So I'm gonna do it something like that, I guess. Get some food, and let's get some fish cooked. Now the thing about this part of the world is that winter is actually a lot longer by a few months than in, in the previous area. So we need to be on top of things. And I think uh, grain fields are probably not as good as they were before. But still. Yes, my also I think I will actually follow the path now. While getting some other stuff done. Well, something was destroyed here. Let's claim it. As you wish. Thank you, Kestrel. As for agreeing with me. Also, the areas around here are expensive, I believe, so I At should probably once. have not just done that. I'm As out of you wish. I have no gold. Yes, my liege. Hail, stranger. I speak for my people. Well, some of them anyway. You are not the only outsider in these lands. An ambassador from the far south was up here, but he was captured by a rival knight. But that matters little for the moment. What is important is the ability to lead, eh? When you become Baron of Narfang, come back here and we shall talk again. So basically... We claimed a territory. No, yeah, we claimed a territory, but also we need to actually get ourselves set up and then we can do the things. Pay more gold to the tax collectors. Hmm, you know how to make them pay more gold to the tax collectors. That sounds like a, a kind of threatening kind of deal. Uh, anyway, we can get the stone here, but uh, Kestrel can get more taxes. Uh, the other thing that Kestrel can do is she can go up to yes, a building. Fine, I can take the earnings out of a nearby building and nobody will notice me. Thank you for your- A building has been plundered. So, we just got 23 extra gold, but that building is now slightly poorer now. Which is something to also keep in mind. Which is strange to think about. 
but it's not really that I'm important until later, but it's also not that great of a way to get gold anyway, so we're not going to be doing that. It would, it would kind of be more helpful to do that. Like, you can do that, I believe, at an enemy's building as well, but the chances are you're probably not going to think about it at the time, so... <laughs> Unless you really want gold, which, at, at that point, go for it. Uh, but anyway, we also oh, no have way. this... Uh, these rain reindeer over here, apparently. Uh, but I also want to start up a farm over here, except now is not the time, so I'm going to leave that for the moment. But this is where I'm going to start a farm, so we can get some bread. But our primary source of food is fish, so we should keep on top of that. I'm going to press tab to bring that up. Got 34, 40 bread, 40 fish. Cool, that sounds like a cool number of fish, actually. Uh, but we will also need to focus, uh, gain on clothes. I don't know if clothes is a harsher thing in this, in the, in the winter. But it might be. I'm not entirely sure. Let me upgrade that. And I think we're underway now. We are well underway. How's winter going? We barely started. Okay. Uh, I can upgrade this. There's also an iron deposit up here. Wish. An iron mine that I probably should get. So I'm going to claim this ter 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 territory. And As I believe wish. if we go over here into this territory... I believe there are cows here, so if we claim this territory, we can get some cows. Which will be good for more ways of getting food. We claimed a territory. Uh, I'm slightly running out of things, but that's okay. How much is this? 200? I don't have enough. As you I wish. could go steal and get a little bit more money. Titles mean nothing in the long run, but it would be nice to be appreciated. Yeah, the, the knights really complain. The first opportunity that they have. I, a promotion, how sweet. Thank you. Oh, you, you're, you're welcome. I am upset. It's fine. Let me put in some broom makers. I am going to put in five broom makers. You can't stop me. I'm also going to leave a little space there for some road. How many do I put in? Hang on. <laughs> Calm down. Not that many. Uh, I'll put in soap makers. Soap makers are kind of expensive though because the, the gain is actually more helpful as clothing than as, uh, as cleaning supplies. Just because wood is so easy to get anyway. Speaking of which, I probably need to do a little more than I'm currently doing, possibly. Uh, but anyway, let me send you up here, which you already have. I need some wood. I just said that wood was not a problem. Don't make me a liar now. I'm at three times speed, so I should get a wood. I've just put in many broom makers. Okay, fine. Do it. Cool. As I done it. <laughs> I done it. The greatest English with the greatest uh, achievement of all time. I'm going to steal yes, again. Buddy. I really don't know why I am doing that, but I'm doing it because it's being slightly helpful. Also, I've run out of space, so I need it anyway. Okay, promotion. Yes, I think I look better with a title. I don't. You wear your title well, my friend. Nah, I don't Perhaps believe you. you can free the southern ambassador from his prison. His captor is named Crimson Sabat. She is the knight responsible for the recent raids on your people. You need to find out where she has this southern ambassador stashed away. That information is in the city of Kirkasund. Use your bowman to clear the road to it. But then return so we can send in a spy. Okay. We have a we goal. Claimed a territory. It's also getting close to the end of winter, but I need wood, which is a bit of a problem at the moment. Uh, can I walk up there? Is that actually surrounded by cliffs? That's actually surrounded by cliffs. I thought that was a way that I could walk through, but I've, I guess I've just been always wrong about that. That's fine. There are other ways of getting wood, I guess. <laughs> not really. Not really. Uh, I'll put you there. Also, I just was complaining about not having wood, but now there's wood. <laughs> the greatest, I'm just happy with that sentence that I just said. Uh, I wasn't planning on putting that cattle farm there. Hang on. I was a little bit distracted by what I was doing. Wanted to 
farm of the grain. The grain farm, they could say. Ah, uh, three might be alright. I don't have enough wood. So it might must be alright. Maybe. Well, so we've run out of promotions. So this is actually the, the amount we're going to have in terms of promotions. Also, I'm going to set it up to three times speed again because I... I work better at three times speed because it means there's a lot more... It, the, the wood flows in a lot faster. Which makes things a lot easier. Okay, we're good on cleaning supplies, grain apparently. Farmer has no grain field. Oh, boo-hoo. What a shame for him. Specifically. I'll put an extra one. Cool. A woodcutter. Uh, I actually don't have enough wood to keep these broom makers going, which is the main problem right now. Uh, is there anywhere else that I could monopolize on wood? Possibly over here. Gotta put a road there. Put a woodcutter's hut there. Okay. Got five woodcutter's huts now. Yes. So we should be good on wood from now on, probably. Maybe. It's it's a fine it's it's a balanced thing. The whole game is a balanced thing. With food and all that. Also, speaking of food and all that, I have a grain farm now, so I can also have a bakery. And if I get that farm going, the cattle farm that is. We can actually get some milk and get some cheese. Oh, I'm thinking way too fast right now to try and figure out what to do. Gonna upgrade that. That's all good, that's all good. I need to upgrade that. That's already maxed out. I don't have wood anymore. Upgrade that. Oh, what a shame. Now he does. Now he has to do something about it. Because he wasn't actually giving them water before. Has to walk all the way back to town and then come back. Uh, but anyway, the main thing I need to focus on at the moment is actually getting an army. So I need to do that if I can. I need wood. Might actually do that so I can get some production stuff going. Hopefully that's going to help balance things out a little bit more. Hopefully. Uh, let's start making swords and let's start making bows. That's already maxed out. That was fast. Okay, I think everything's looking solid now, except for these over here in the distance. Uh, we're getting close to 100 settlers already, which means I probably need to upgrade the church at some point, or the cathedral. I call it the church, but it's a, it's a cathedral. I always call it... Ah, it's fine. I'm just going to keep complaining to myself. Let's upgrade that. Wood is going well. There's a lot, so much wood. There's so much wood. Also, I just realized how much wood there is. There, there's really just a whole lot of wood. I could really monopolize on all this wood if I actually play better. Well, I think the wood I actually have right now is actually fairly balanced. It could be more balanced though. <laughs> just a little bit. As long as I'm not spending it too fast, I think I should be fine. Once so we have 14 spouses out of 28. It's pretty good. Cleaning supplies is good. Food might be better. If we set up a cheese. Can't find any fish. Oh dear. That's that's the other problem with having three fishermen's huts because they go too hard at it. So I'm gonna demolish one of them and hopefully it's gonna balance it out so that they just keep getting fish when it makes sense. It's also getting close to winter, which they should be they, they should bring back the fish anyway, so. Do, 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 do. Uh, how much gain do I have? Not enough. I also could put in more smokehouses, apparently, because I just have a lot of fish. So I should probably be doing that for food. And that'll actually fix my problems. These can still be upgraded. How are we doing on iron? We actually have a good amount of iron now. And now I need to get these barracks out. So we can actually get our army going. I'm going to send the army over here on the road, just like that, upgrade the cathedral, got it that, got it right that time. I don't really need to steal gold at this point, I'm going well. Okay, upgrade that, upgrade that. Might need to just do a festival. Those are all maxed out. Collecting swords and bows. 
It basically trains the troops as soon as there's enough bows and swords. So I might even be able to actually do some stuff with the the army I currently have now, so. We're doing pretty well. Pretty well. Could be better, but it's doing pretty well. I think I can put in possibly another tannery. Also, what is this madness where you don't have cleaning products? There's literally so many brooms. You don't even need soap. <laughs> Sorry, that was way too funny to me. Uh, anyway, yes, now let's take liege. our army over this way. Because it's time to combat. So, we have a red outpost over here, which is our enemy. And because they have bowmen in the outpost, we can't... Well, actually, no. The bowmen, we can't attack them without more bowmen. Uh, but the other thing is that if we kill the bowmen without destroying the outpost, we can actually destroy the outpost a little bit, just enough, and then we can claim the outpost, which will make it our outpost. It means we don't have to build a new one. As you wish. So let's try Never and do surrender. that. I'm gonna use my soldiers here as bait. Just so we can take these out faster. And now we can take it out, and then yes, claim. Has been cleared without creating undue attention. Let us go on with the next one. We and also because we put our As you army wish. right next to the outpost, it means that they can also get their uh, torches back. Also, interesting thing about this is if I had used tab again, for some reason, this is this is one of the things I mentioned earlier, where it, it goes... So if I have it tabbed this way to show how much stuff they have, because that's really use useful to see how many torches they have. This over here isn't open, so I actually have to do that like that for the city and like that for the soldiers. Which is really strange, but anyway, let's go claim another outpost if we can. Yes, my liege. Keep okay. Come on, Don't and claim the outpost. This outpost. Just like that. Been cleared without creating undue attention. Let us go on with the next one. But if okay, we if you say so. This is actually pretty good for us. Never surrender. Keep fighting. Attack. Okay, Bowman. Now the coast is clear. I can't Excellent. see. I will lend you a thief who can gain the information where the ambassador is held captive. This outpost has been cleared without creating undue attention. Let us go on with the next one. We will give you a thief. Okay, he take that, please. Thank you. Into our enemy's storehouse and find out where the hostage is held captive. You have to guide the thief into the storehouse at Kirkasund without being seen by military units. We claimed a territory. Ah, uh, interesting. Interesting. We just got more cows, but I was hoping for some sheep. Honestly, because we claimed the territory that they were in, that means that they're ours now. As you uh, anyway, I also want to change where our army's going to start appearing, if I can. Uh, and I will want a bigger army, but for the moment we need to do what he said about the thief. So... Oh, actually, hang on. Let me try something. Also, our thief counts as part of our army, so you need to be careful about that. There's a, a slight... Like... Under, slightly under the water path here that we can take across, but we could also wait for it to be winter, except that would be, well, full winter when it's frozen. But that would be a little As bit more risky, wish. because then it's very possible that we're just going to lose oh, a lot of stuff. Hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Those are, that army is heading straight for Kestrel. Come on. Okay. On our way. This is kind of a, a good spot to get over to if you can. Well, I mean, I think you have to, so... Just being inside of the enemy territory means that we can see everything that's happening inside of their, their base, we which is good. Attack. Oh, come on. Stop. Attack. I'm also going to move the thief over they here. We have command. unlimited thieves, as long as the game keeps giving us some. Uh, but eventually we can actually pay money at the I castle to, to the castle. buy one, basically. From the castle. Don't give up. You, bet. you guys stuck attack. or something? Can you actually attack, please? Thank you. Gonna move the army. A stone quarry will soon be or defeated. start spawning in more army, that is. 
Soldier's limit has been reached, but also the castle has been upgraded. No okay, I'm trying to keep on top of the, everything right now. Okay, so they're good. Uh, and now that we've taken out the few soldiers that were there, it means that they, uh, it'll be easier to infiltrate this place. Because we need to get the thief over to the storehouse and then back home. But there's the soldiers that we took out were guarding this tower here. Which means we're actually pretty pretty set now. Also, I didn't check what the uh, friend is selling. They do actually have sheep. I should have been doing that already. They also have iron and wood and wool, so. But sheep is probably the better one because it means we can get our own stuff. If that makes yes, sense. Okay. Let's of take this course. thief. On me way. A thief can walk inside of a, like, straight through a gate and be alright. Uh, but he ca if he's spotted, then he'll be... Now use the thief to steal the information from the storehouse. If he gets spotted by right soldiers, away, they'll chase age. him and kill him. Now it is important to bring your thief back to your own castle safely, so that he can deliver the information. Which we can actually do by pressing this button here. He would take the easiest route back, though, so you need to be careful which way he's going. But for this level, An we're okay. Can't find any iron. Oh no, what a shame for him. An iron mine has been depleted. Oh, an iron mine has been depleted. An iron mine, I can't find any iron. He probably isn't looking for it. <laughs> That's my favorite joke in this game, basically, is if they, they can't find it. <laughs> they can't be very good at their job if they can't find the thing that they, they do. Oh, anyway. I have so much wood. I can't even sell it, so I'm just going to have to bin most of it. Ah, uh, but anyway. I need to actually have Castrol completed. over here. Starring Quarry has been depleted. Oh no! Excellent! Now we know where they are keeping their hostage! We have learned how to train thieves. From now on, they can be recruited at our castle. There. Hail, O oh Knight. My name is Hakim Abdalsar. I am a noble knight, but at the moment, I am a prisoner of a devil named Crimson Sabbat. Come to my prison, O oh knight, so that I may go free. Hail, O oh knight. My name is Hakim oh, Abdel Oh, thank you. Come to my prison, O oh knight, you said so that, that I may go free. Oh, please don't fix it. 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 Thank you. Okay, good. Okay, I'm gonna put Kestra inside the base. They can stop the fire before it happens. So if they do that, then they will rebuild or repair the, the wall. But I think for now we should be able to get through without it being rebuilt. So let me get my army with torches again. Even though I don't think yes, they need torches at this point, actually. I think I'm just alright. Uh, but let's get As you, you all over on. here if I can. Slowly. Well, so I was going to get sheep, but I'm not anymore, so... Since we're so close to the end anyway. This is a very simple level, but it's also pretty good, so... Don't it's up. one of my favorites, actually. I would say. An iron miner can't find any At iron. Once. We need Kestrel to be alive, so I'm going to be a little bit hesitant with her moving we closer to the enemy. On our way. Ooh, yes, Kestrel, stay alive, please. Because I need you to be alive to get to the prison. The prison actually is random which one of these towers it is, so as you wish. Stay there. I yes, my liege. I but of course, as you wish. Forward. That's better. Forward. Please take it out. Okay, wait for the the time to go down and go. Freedom is yours, sir. Please. There we go. We have much to do. Keep watch over me until I reach your castle. Crimson Sabbat pursues me. Well, we have everything taken care of now. Can I release yes, you again? Age. I don't think so. But of okay, course, so that's everything here for the moment. I... No, don't attack, please. I'm just trying to leave. Well, we can Stay head... Head back now. If I can actually get my army going back, that'd be great. As you wish. Because we just have to wait for him to get back to the base, and we've won, basically. 
I don't know why that's not a winning condition, but it, it is a winning condition. So. Also, I think it'll go faster if I don't have any soldiers on him, so. Just let him go on his own then. Come on, you can go home now. By your orders. And there we go. Ha! You may have freed the southerner, but it will do you little good. We shall meet again. You are reliable and trustworthy, O knight. We will welcome you and your men at any time. I came here seeking allies against Crimson Sabat's master, the Red Prince. But she ambushed and imprisoned me. She has been agitating among the Nalindir Vikings on behalf of her prince. Only if we are united can we resist the menace of the Red Prince. Allow me to join your company, and together we may preserve all our peoples. So there we go, we've, we've completed yet another mission. And that didn't take very long. Crimson Sabat, you bring me news. You have a rival, my prince. The Red Prince has no rivals, only upstarts and challengers to my rule. A challenger, then. A king from the West. A very effective king. And what does this petty king offer that I do not already have? Security, power, gold. This upstart is very popular with the settlers. The settlers mean nothing. You, of all people, should know that. Deal with him, as you have dealt with the others before him. As you wish, my prince. So, it seems that I have a rival. For the moment. But that is it for now. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.